Hello. <clears throat> this thing on? Better be on. I paid, I paid for this thing to be on. Uh, Eric Darling here with Eric Darling Data. Um, I'm hoping that someday I will get a, a, a free personalized Swiss Army knife with my company logo on it. But I am not, I'm not that successful yet. I am, I am still only getting pens. Anyway, big day. It was a big day yesterday for uh, SQL Server stuff. And I know it was a big day because my wife was annoyed with how long I spent in my office poking around at CTP 2.4. Um, so what I wanted to show you was kind of a neat improvement to TempDB where uh, some TempDB metadata is able to be stored in memory in order to reduce contention. If you remember with the whole in-memory thing, it's a latch-free or lock-free or something free. All I know is that it's, ne it's never free. <laughs> it's going to cost you money either in licensing or in memory or, or, or something else. I don't know, time probably, your sanity. But uh, some, TempDB, some TempDB metadata is now able to be stored in memory. Now, there's a sys.configuration setting for this. So you'll have to go in and you'll have to make sure that you turn on advanced options. And you'll also have to make sure that you uh, set this setting to one. So it's now TempDB metadata memory optimized with fun, fun stuff. Now, when you turn this on, it does require a restart. You do have to reboot SQL Server to get this to take effect. And I didn't see a way in the installer to make that turn on by default, like when you first install SQL Server, that maybe you don't have to restart it after you hit production or something, but maybe that's coming. You know, the installer is it's still the 2017 installer, so that'll probably hopefully change by the time uh, this thing hits uh, a release candidate or RTM or one of those crazy acronyms. Anyway, after you turn that on, some, some TempDB system tables are now stored in memory. So if we look at this helpful DMV up here, sys. it's a mouthful, ain't it? sys.dmdbxtpobjectstats, we will now see a whole bunch of TempDB stuff in memory. So scissors is called, obj values, obj, obj, you can read that on your own. I'm not going to read all that for you. You're at least semi-literate people if you can type YouTube in and SQL Server. And if you just ended up here by accident, you were looking for porn and got turned around. Uh, but yeah, so now some of this stuff is in memory, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, what I wanted to show you next is that even though some of this stuff is still in memory, uh, not all of it, no, this doesn't solve fully <laughs> TempDB contention problems in memory. So what I'm going to do is I have uh, the lovely open source SQL query stress here. And what I'm going to do is just create a bunch of tables in TempDB. I'm not going to put any data in them. There's no select. There's no insert. There's no update, delete. There's nothing going on. It's just me creating a lot of TempDB objects. Now, I'm going to create TempDB objects over across 200 threads. So I'm going to have 200 workers just going in and creating TempDBs and then leaving or creating temp, temp tables, not creating temp TVs, creating temp tables and leaving. And I'm going to do that just for effect. I'm going to do that 200 times just to make sure that I can catch lots of stuff happening. Now, the first thing I want to show you is I'm going to kick this off, and hopefully this won't fry my computer, is if we run SP who is active with get locks equals one, we'll, we'll run this for a little bit, and we'll start to see some blocking. Now, the blocking... Oops, come on, zoom it, work with me here. The blocking is all happening just on these table creates. We can see blocking session ID is populated. If we go over here, we can see session ID 273 is just creating a temp table. Ah, go away. It's just creating a temp table uh, the way all the other ones are. And if we look carefully uh, at SP who is active's output, if we go over to the locks column, normally, this would be populated with XML that would tell us exactly what was locked, who, like what was like was a page level key object, what it was. But this is null for us. We're, we're not showing any locks here, but we're still being blocked. We still have all these sessions that are getting blocked when we try to run this. Uh, is that finished? It's finished. Oh, I, I talked for too long, and that's what happened. That's what I get for talking. And then uh, sometimes SQL query stress doesn't like uh, coming back to life when I've when I beat it up terribly like that. Let's see what this is doing. 
Da, da, da. Oh, you don't need to see that. All right. What are you up to? Did you crash again? You probably crashed again. All right. The perils of open source, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so let's go into task mugger and let's end task there. And I'm going to pause this video while I set that back up. All right, we're back <laughs> now. Uh, uh, so <laughs> I have SQL query stress back, uh, back after a magnificent crash. And what I want to show you now is, uh, so SB who is, SB who active does not show us any locks, but if we go into TempDB and we run, not that query, if we run this query, uh, this will show us all sorts of funny locks. Now it's not going to return anything right now because there's nothing going on right now, but if I fire up SQL query stress and I start running and I hit F5, we'll start to see some locks on some tables in TempDB. And we'll wait until we hit some fun numbers in there. Give it one more run. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. So if we zoom in now and we look at exactly what is getting locked and what kind of locks, we will ignore all the childish acronyms that we could have. <laughs> we, could, we, could, we could spell out looking at the locks that go on there. <laughs> And we'll look at what actually got locked. So these two system views, sys alloc units and sys row sets, are not currently memory optimized. So we are still taking locks against them, and we still can hit contention when we're hitting these system views to get stuff going. Now, if I run, I, I have no idea if SQL Query Stats has crashed, if it's still running, if it's still doing anything. It might not be. Yeah, it's not responding again. So uh, it doesn't matter, though, because I showed you everything that I want to show you. And it's just kind of stuck there again. Darn you, SQL Query Stress. This is, this is why I usually use OStress, but uh, I wanted you to be able to see the create table thing in there. Anyway, let's kill that, because we don't need to see that anymore. And uh, well, hopefully that'll work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so the cool new cool step forward for TempDB still I think still has a little bit of work to do. I'm not sure why those two system views weren't uh, included in the memory optimizationing of TempDB. Maybe they will be if I gripe about it enough, or if the right people are watching this. I don't know who those people would be though. Maybe they're on Twitter. I'll have to go. I'll have to go find out. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you thought this was kind of cool. And I will see you, uh, I guess, next time. Probably, if there isn't next time. You never know. You never know. What if I get abducted by aliens? I think that's the best case for me. Some outer space women. Yeah. Anyway, see you next time.